This Ridley O is sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Let's talk about something that might result in kind of a short commentary. The Fed's saving graces. Believe it or not, there are some. I think they should be articulated before they become cliché, while these are still new concepts to be pointing out. If we were to transport ourselves back in time to 1985, 80, 88, I don't think many of us would have very many good things to say about the government of Yugoslavia. It restricted speech. It would arrest you for publishing things. It tended to suppress ethnic culture differences in favor of the idea that people were all pretty much the same, regardless of their race. As, you know, I think it was either Robert Kaplan or Misha Glenny put it, the people who served the government of Yugoslavia in those days were self-seeking time servers, just bureaucrats. But the thing we didn't think about back then was the fact that most of them were pretty much free of the nationalist virus, and by that I mean the ethnic nationalist virus. They wind up looking pretty good compared to what came after them. The genocidal regimes in Croatia and Serbia, the rump Yugoslav army on its killing rampage around all the republics except Macedonia, in the name of one ethnic group, the federal government in the United States, for all its flaws, tends to be a multi-ethnic and multi-ethnicist operation. There is some reverse discrimination there, but more often than not, the federal government does not judge you by your skin color. It also reminds me of the old Yugoslav government in the sense that you, 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 you under under communism in most places, you, you could you could be pretty brutally repressed. But in the 80s, 70s, Yugoslavia, generally their way of getting you was going to be, you know, they were going to follow a process. It wasn't particularly naked killing, generally. I had a, a, some friends that lived in Zagreb. They were Christian missionaries, evangelicals. And they had a, they had a uh, the Yugoslav police came to their door. Uh, you know, because you're not supposed to be a Christian missionary in Zagreb under uh, Tito's communism, right? And, um, you know, they, they rap on the door, uh, and they said, um, I'll just make up a name here, but let's say that, there, you know, is, is John here? And um, uh, the woman who answered the door said, well, uh, no, John's at, uh, at kindergarten right now. <laughs> Apparently the police, the secret police, were looking for John's father, who was, who was a Christian missionary. They were going to question him. When they found out they had had the wrong name, they just got red and left and never came back. Right. So that's how the, that's how the communists persecuted Christians, I guess, in, in uh, Yugoslavia in uh, you know, the, the, the 80s. But, you know, it's sort of a, a, a you know, tyranny with a, a human face. Well, what replaced that in the 90s was Serbs' cars blowing up in Zagreb. You know, the ethnic cleansing of practically the entire Serbian population from Croatia. And, of course, the Serbian government did even worse things. You know, in the same way, I mean, we, we can look back on the Tsar, you know, with some degree of sympathy and some affectionate eye, compared to what came after the Tsar in Russia. Same thing with the French monarchy. There are many graces of the French monarchy that we can look back on now and recognize that were not clear until it was replaced by something worse. This is how it could unfold in the United States. Fortunately, there are no... In the U.S., there's no attempt to create states that are ethnically based. And that may be, well... It could be our quagmire or it could be our saving grace. There are states in the United States that are somewhat mono-ethnic, but there's no white landia right? <laughs> in the United States. There's no black landia 
it's every state is just a political entity. It's not ethnically oriented. So that is an important difference between the U.S. and the Soviet Union, the U.S. and the Balkans. But I do fear that there may be some day when something worse has replaced the federal government or when something worse replaces Barack Obama and we are all daydreaming about the days when we could actually attend a presidential speech uh, or when we could actually film federal agents or when it was lawful to own certain weapons, when you could work without a federal ID card that has your biometric data on it. Things are going to change, and the current federal system will probably be replaced. But think back to the French Revolution, the Russian Revolution, the Yugoslavian Civil Wars, I call it the Third Balkan War, I actually, collectively. But their loss is not always our win. And that's why it's so important to fight this in a way that, that, that wins for us, not just one that costs them. Michael Collins was able to win. Technically, he was able to make the British lose very quickly with his f rifle, <laughs> and, and his buddy's rifles, but he lost too, and so did Ireland in many ways, in this least bad of all violent revolutions. Here in New Hampshire, we've already accomplished more than the Irish Free Staters did after years of war, a few years, not a very many, really, it was a quick war, but we've accomplished more without any apparent loss of life, without having to kill any of our enemies, uh, more than they did in all that suffering. We've got to stay on that path, at least until the day when the average human would agree with us that something else is justified. Not just the average human, the average American. Anyhow, I'm getting a little off topic. Uh, the change that, that's going to come certainly could make things better in the U.S., could provide us less in the way of oppressive government, but things could go the other way. The more we can all keep our heads on, on both sides, the better a chance we'll have at all getting what we want, and that's prosperity for our children. This Ridley O, sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Half a million items for sale, often cheaper than Amazon. The easiest way to convert your bitcoins into real-world stuff. They're privacy-friendly. You don't even have to give your name. BitcoinStore.com